Top of the morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for January 30th, 2019. So, yesterday, kind of a choppy, go nowhere day. Um, it's nice that we did uh, finish just slightly higher. The bulls have done a really good job of holding up here in this consolidation zone sticking to their guns and defending the 50 day moving average here, which is starting to, uh, you know, starting to flatten out. We're starting to see some of those uh, shorter term averages move up there to provide some support. But we don't want to ignore um, what's going on here overall and that we have a pretty darn big zone of potential price action resistance through here. So we'll have to watch that closely. Keep in mind that we're still testing, trying to break through into this upper area, um, break that downtrend line here on the Dow. And as you can see, we are forming this really wide angled price wedge in here so lots for the market to chew on today first off we have just a huge number of earnings coming out um, this morning and this afternoon um, over 137 companies reporting uh, today we have uh, the tech bellwether uh, tonight after the bell Microsoft along with a slew of other companies reporting as well that can certainly move us around and this morning, we have a considerable number of companies reporting that's currently affecting the price action of the market. So let's uh, take a look at um, what we have going on here. Obviously, we have a good support level right in here. If the market were to turn and move back, we have a good support level that we would watch pretty carefully. Um, if that were to fail, we could be in real trouble. We also have that resistance area up here. If we can break through this resistance area up here, we could do pretty well. And as you can see this morning, we're looking at a gap up open, mostly based on um, those earnings reports this morning. And um, we'll have to kind of uh, keep an eye on that because both Asian and European markets actually are mixed this morning, not showing um, as much energy uh, to move up as we are here in the US. And mostly because that's because of earnings. No, no major surprise here. But um, the tensions um, around the world have to do with U.S. trade talks resuming today, and um, we know that there are some additional te tensions in there um, that have cropped up here recently on, on that trade negotiation. So hopefully that goes well, but the rest of the world is kind of on pins and needles while the U.S. is really banging out some positive results because of earnings. So. Um, watch for those possible intraday reversals on any news events around that. Be really, really careful not to chase the morning gap. Make sure that those buyers actually step in and support that morning gap before you rush into any trades. Let's take a look at the SPY real quick. SPY also doing a great job in this consolidation, also forming that same type wedge pattern here where we're trying to trying to move higher trying to break through these downtrend areas can't quite seem to do it just yet there hasn't been enough energy we are getting a gap up this morning as you can see gapping up right into here so a little bit positive this morning gapping right up toward this resistance area and this entire area up in here is just a pretty darn big resistance zone that we'll have to watch closely so if we can if we get up in there um, anything is possible Possible. Um, so watch for those resistance levels if we move up. If we do happen to pull back, we still have some really, really good support levels right in here that hopefully would catch us and prevent us from really dropping down. Once again, we're holding above that 50-day moving average, and that average is starting to flatten out and look pretty good. But we do want to consider the possibilities here. Remember, with so much going on in the market right now, earnings and, and FOM, see this afternoon and um, trade 
negotiations, we really have uh, what I wrote in the blog today is we have a trifecta of potential volatility. So um, watch that close and don't be surprised if we do get um, intraday reversals and whipsaws um, as a result of news events. So watch that close. Let's take a look at um, the cues. Cues have been nicely uh, moving up, and yesterday had a little bit of a disappointment here, uh, dropping back down uh, with Apple and, and everyone in anticipation of, of earnings. And this morning we're getting um, a reversal back up, and you can see we're gapping almost to yesterday's high um, in the cues. Uh, kind of that reversal on those Apple results and and other. Um, relatively good reports uh, last night so that's a nice thing to see now we have already broken through this resistance high here and this could serve as the test that shows that we are going to hold this area of support if we get a nice follow-through here to the upside keep in mind we have a considerable amount of um, support in here with price um, action but if we were to fail and drop down into here i would look for this level right here initially to hold us as support also keep in mind there is resistance just above here on the chart and it's fairly simple to see it it's right in here anytime we move up in here that's where we rejected before and so we'd want to watch that area up there for that possible rejection if we just get a little bit too inflated here let's take a look at iwm um, IWM also holding a nice pattern here, breaking its downtrend, as you can see, breaking its downtrend and consolidating. That's a nice pattern. I mean, when you look at this pattern, this is exactly what we want to see in a chart. Those nice little consolidating areas where we find those support. Um, uh, support areas and it looks really really good bouncing right off of this trend line and moving up and breaking up and holding above that resistance area all good signs here for IWM and this morning as you can see we're looking at just a slight gap up this morning reversing yesterday's down move nothing major here but IWM might be one of those indexes we could watch for uh, that early recovery in here off of this support area so watch that let's take a look at the VIX real quick the VIX been a little bit of a roller coaster ride here where we popped up popped up yesterday and then pulled back and it's been bouncing around in uh, in and around this support area as you can see if I've got marked right in here holding up okay um, what we what we really want to see it do is start to break down and this morning's gap up may actually move us lower hey guys we just had a news report and suddenly the market really is showing bullishness here um, it looks like um, Boeing uh, beat on earnings um, here and we have jumped a hundred and twenty points in the futures market since that report. So we're up about 250 points right now on this morning gap. Um, that's good news for the market, obviously. Uh, Boeing looking very good here. We'll take a look at that in just a second. So hopefully with this positiveness coming into the market, we could see that fear start to drop out here, drop down into these levels, and that would be a good thing. Now, one of my major concerns here is the T2122. T2122, we continue to be up here in this strongly, strongly extended area. Um, price levels we haven't seen um, in T2122 in a very, very long time. And um, it, we're up here in this bearish reversal zone. But please keep in mind, that doesn't necessarily mean we have to fall. Um, particularly um, if earnings continue to come out good, we can stay pretty strong here and push right up here toward this 100 level. But keep in mind, at any point in time, a news event or something could reverse us pretty quickly. As you can see, the market is relatively uh, sensitive to these earnings reports, very emotional around them. So we could move really, really fast um, uh, on good reports or bad reports as well. Watch that close. Nice, strong um, um, earnings reports can keep us up in here, but eventually we will have to move down. And as you can see, it's pretty, uh, this indicator is just 
uh, usually dead on. Um, we get up here in these reversal zones, we we pull back. We get down here in the reversal zones and we rally up. So watch that close. Let's take a look at what we have going on on our um, calendars today. Um, as you can see, besides earnings reports, we have a lot going on here this morning. ADP report at 8.15 will be out, giving us those numbers on jobs. Remember, that is the lead-in to the employment situation number over here on Friday that we'll have to pay attention to. So that's kind of that lead-in number. GDP will be the most important number today on the economic calendar with that 8.30 a.m. Eastern report, so you'll want to keep an eye on that. Pending home sales can certainly move the market around a little bit. We'll want to pay attention. And the EIA Petroleum Status Report definitely can move us around if we happen to see surprise builds or surprise declines in, in those supplies on oil numbers. Um, and then, of course, the Mac Daddy today is the FOMC announcement and the Fed Chair press conference. Um, uh, Powell has chosen to do press conferences after every Fed meeting rather than um, every other Fed meeting. So we'll, we'll have to endure that for the rest of the year, um, I understand. So watch this level right or time right in here. We could see lots of volatility around that rate decision. Um, pay attention to that um, as we move through the day. Um, also... On the earnings calendar, like I said, we had about 137 companies reporting. And you can see Boeing, Boeing's earnings really moving the market. Look at this big pop in that earnings gap on Boeing. Boeing looking really strong here, popping up, looking great, moving that market strongly higher. So we'll want to watch as the futures continue to move um, as a result of that earnings report. Big earnings move. Um, setting the market on fire here this morning. So watch that closely. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great profits. If this is the first time you've seen these videos. Please do me a favor. Click that subscribe button on YouTube, the follow me button on Facebook. Click those thumbs up buttons and leave a comment. Guys, um, I just can't thank you enough. I am so humbled by the fact that so many of you take the time to click those thumbs up buttons and and, and leaving comments. It's, it's very, very humbling that you're supporting the channel. Remember, my goal here is to just help other traders do a, a better job. After being in the market for nearly 30 years, uh, trading 14 years full time, um, I just want to be able to share some of that information and help everyone be better prepared, do a better job in the market. Traders helping traders. I say that all the time. Um, um, that's what this is all about. And hopefully um, you'll see the value in that and continue to support the channel. Thank you very, very much for doing so. Hey, let's talk about some stocks that are starting to, um, well, not starting, for your watch list, things that are looking pretty good and may really be moving today based on um, these earnings results. One of the stocks that I've been watching pretty closely right here is Goldman Sachs. Goldman's starting to look pretty good now. It's pressed right up against this 200 level. 200 Big round numbers tend to be resistance levels, but Goldman has that nice rally and a nice tight consolidation for a potential move higher. Of course, we do have price resistance in here to worry about, but that's a substantial move. We're looking at about 15 potential points, 10 to 15 points up here toward that resistance. That looks really good to me and a possible trade. I'm also seeing good signs in smaller uh, financials like uh, Citibank moving right up the trend, uh, consolidating over to its trend trend looking good after breaking its downtrend looking very very positive we just need that buy in here to push this higher and perhaps today is the day with um, such bullishness in the futures so watch that closely also seeing some really really good signs in some of the um, uh, gambling gambling stocks like um, PENN 
Uh, P-E-N-N, break of the downtrend, nice tight consolidation showing good results. Now keep in mind, um, Wynn reports today. So uh, Wynn is on the on the calendar for reporting. So that will definitely affect any of these gaming stocks. You'll want to watch that fairly closely. Um, another great looking chart I think that could be setting up nicely here is SWKS. And you can see I've got a couple alerts on SWKS here. Um, SWKS after breaking this downtrend moving up nice little consolidation area right in here and moved on up through there so watch this closely it doesn't report until 2 5 so you can see we have plenty of opportunity in here on uh, that stock so we'll keep an eye on that guy you might also want to keep an eye on Valero energy Valero doing nicely here as you can see um, moving up through this downtrend nice little trend moving up showing nice consolidation moves in here looking fairly strong and as you can see i have a price alert up here that i may actually move down you can see this morning it's looking uh for a little bit of a gain um, on the morning so valero energy maybe one to pay attention to um, on the chart vips vips is one i talked about a while ago vips breaking fruit through this resistance you can see breaking through um, this is one of my favorite patterns guys breaks through resistance moves up pulls back to support initializing the trend showing us that trend and then there's that move that nice move up through that next level of resistance now take a look at what's happening um, we've moved up strongly here and now we're pulling back and resting so if we move this over toward this trend i would be watching that very very closely in here for that next opportunity higher um, and that looks pretty darn good so we'll want to keep an eye on that so with that everyone hey i want to wish you all a great day of trading i want to wish you great profits and also encourage everyone if you're struggling out there if you're having trouble as a trader really dig in continue to study never give up on your dream because i'm telling you it is definitely worth it everyone take care have an awesome day we'll talk to you all bright and early thursday morning have a good one